Welcome to Expert Profiles Atlanta, where Atlanta's influencers and innovators share strategies for overcoming obstacles and achieving success in business and life. Here's your host, best-selling author and Atlanta influencer, Neil Howe. Hello and welcome to the show. This is your host, Neil Howe, and today my guest is Julie Stein. She is the CEO and founder of Derma Health Science, a company that's devoted to providing quality, non-synthetic, topical supplements for skin health and protection. Uh, Customers with dry and oily or irritated skin are impressed with how quickly their skin returns to a healthy appearance. And they are currently prepping for an official launch later this year. So welcome to the show, Julie Stein. Hi, thank you, Neil. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and ultimately the kind of customers or clients that you're going to help with uh, Derma Health Science. Sure. So uh, I used to be a physical therapist and um, practiced for 13 years. My last three years, I was a wound care specialist at a uh, children's hospital here in town and really fell in love with with healing. It was a big part of what I did and uh, like to see the results, although the results weren't always as good as um, aesthetically good as, as someone would possibly like. Um, they weren't horrible, but you know, the skin heals in certain ways and it's, it can be a challenge. So uh, I, I then ventured into being an entrepreneur full time. Um, I've been an entrepreneur now for 18 years and switched into that space. Uh, I have, I have that mentality of didn't, I just didn't want that one to 3% raise limiting what I could do. And I uh, was just really excited about being out on my own. So as a single mom, I had two young kids, I ventured into that space and got going in sales and, uh, the environmental, um, component selling different things to help the environment, but still had a dream of getting, um, a product to market. I, I forgot to mention I had uh, some patents go through. And so it was something that I'd always wanted to pursue and had never gotten done. So um, about five years ago, I really took a turn and and just I had looked in the mirror and I was looking older and I really didn't like it. And so I went shopping to find that miracle cream and um, couldn't find it. It either just didn't work very well or I um, just couldn't afford it. Some of those products are really expensive. So I started testing on myself some natural ingredients and really liked the results. And it dawned on me one day, I thought, you know, maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. (laughs) Maybe I should be uh, diving in and developing a skincare product for people because Mm. surely I'm not the only frustrated one. So that's what I did. And that's, that's how Derma Health got started um, I just dove in and, and started learning about what causes the skin to break down, what what constitutes healthy skin, and um, developed a non-synthetic product to um, help with that. Well, there's definitely a massive market, uh, uh, the skincare market. There's a lot of products out there for the skin, but you know they are usually synthetic products that are not necessarily healthy. Um, so to have a healthy option is definitely something uh, that the market needs. Now, who is your primary client when you're thinking about this? Uh, uh, in your intro there, you were talking about uh, healing of the skin. Is that like healing from scars or is that just from you know, having bad skin and trying to you know, make it look better? Well, we're going to focus on the health of the skin and and facilitating the healing. Um, I technically can't say that the product is actually healing. We haven't done studies yet to to prove that that's actually what's happening, but we definitely are improving the health and that the skin's appearance then is much better because it's healthy. And you had mentioned, you know, the synthetic piece of of products and certainly those products can make your skin feel healthy, feel soft and and it, it's able to hold moisture in really well. But when that the moisture evaporates and and all your skin goes back to the way it looked before. So it didn't provide the nutrition it needed. So 
we, we develop a product that focuses on the health of the skin and then the um, outcome is beautiful skin. So you had asked about the, the perfect sort of um, customer for us. And it's been, we found that it's typically women, although some men are getting more into the, the health of their skin, but primarily women in anywhere in the ages from in their 20s up into their 50s seem to be kind of the sweet spot that we've found. I've had teenagers use it and love it. I mean, I've hold, had older women use it and love it, but 20s to 30s is, is pretty, pretty common. So in that age category, what kind of skin conditions are they looking at? The, 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 is it a cream base that, that it's helps actually, with? Well, it's actually an oil base. Um, there's no water in it. And any product that is a cream has got water for the most part, um, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> um, so this, this product has no water in it, which means we can leave out preservatives because it's the water in products that will cause bacteria to grow, and you certainly don't want that. So preservatives um, have a piece, you know, that they you don't want bacteria, um, unhealthy bacteria growing on your skin. But um, so anyway, we can avoid that. So ours is an oil-based product with omega fatty acids, antioxidants, it has some natural anti-inflammatories in it, and it helps people that have dry skin. It helps people with, believe it or not, oily skin, um, it has shown to normalize the oil output. Um, and then, of course, people with combination skin have had great results as well. So what are the problems uh, people have with dry skin and wh- how does your product, uh, now what, what is the product name? Is it called Derma Health Science? Or no. Or is that just uh, your company and this is one of the products? Yeah, that's that's right. It's... Um, that's the company name. We are probably going to settle on the name Pro, Pro Health PH um, because we're for the health of the skin and it seems to be normalizing the pH of the skin. So we are um, still need to test that to be sure, but that it appears to be what's going on. So what is going on with somebody that has <laughs> dry skin and how does uh, Pro, Pro Health PH, is that what? Yes, the uh-huh, Pro Health pH. And how do, how is that going to help somebody with dry skin? So, someone with dry skin has a, a an acidic, or excuse me, an an alkaline pH. So their pH is high. Uh, normal pH falls between four and a half and seven, um, or excuse me, four point four point five and five point five, but neutral pH is at seven. So people that have dry skin tend to be on the the higher number side. And when you have dry skin, your skin is often compromised. So if you itch it, it can, it can open up. You can have um, bacteria enter. That's not good. Uh, People with eczema have been shown to have more staph on their skin that um, can then enter the skin and cause inflammation. And also dry skin is something not to ignore. Um, and then with oily skin, you've got the opposite. So there's overproduction of oil, and it's important to get that under control as well. So how long does it take to start seeing a difference by using ProHealth pH? We have noticed with the, the quickest we've seen is within about three days. People have been noticing improvement, uh, typically with with products, it can it can take over a month sometimes to see some some noticeable improvement. But we're getting some really quick results. The majority of people, I would say, within a week, they're they're seeing really good results. So, what are some of the misconceptions people have about skincare? There's obviously thousands of products out there on the market. How are you supposed to go about choosing the one that's right for you and healthy for you? Yeah, that's really hard. Um, There is a lot out there and there's a lot of marketing. You really have to read the marketing closely to make sure that you're getting what you believe you're getting. Um, Cosmetics are designed, they're a temporary alteration in the appearance of the skin. So they're not designed to actually get rid of your wrinkles. What they do is they improve the moisture content of your skin. So then your skin gets 
bump, so to speak. It, you know, puffs out, it's, it's more hydrated so that the appearance of the wrinkles are less. So when I first went out to shop for the, the great skincare products that were going to um, make me look younger again, and I couldn't find a solution, I now realize that the products were probably doing what they were supposed to be doing. I just thought that they were supposed to be actually correcting my skin. Um, the, if they actually improve the collagen content um, and, and truly did what they were, what a lot of consumers feel like they're supposed to be doing, then it would be considered a drug. So, um, so that isn't happening. One of the, another misconception would be that natural ingredients aren't chemicals. Um, everything's a chemical. Water is a chemical. So it's important to realize that their natural ingredients are non-synthetic versus synthetic. So it's made by nature versus made in the lab, so to speak. Um, so what kind of natural products are in pro health pH and, you know, how do they help your skin? So the, the natural ingredients that we have, we focus on the omega fatty acids because that's a nutritional component of skin that's often missing, but is needed. Um, it affects how well the cells perform and it's skin is a very complex organ. Um, it's super complex. So it's really important that whatever you're putting on it is going to provide the nutrition it needs. Because if you're putting something like well, like petroleum jelly, a lot of people will put Vaseline on their skin to help with the um, locking in the moisture, but that's not providing any nutrition and it's actually blocking the ability of the skin to breathe, which isn't a good thing. Um, so, so anyway, we've, we've got the fatty acids that are important. We've got antioxidants, which help with not only maintaining the stability of the product, it helps with the um, breakdown of the skin, the oxidation that can occur within the skin from UV rays, from pollution, from maybe eating poorly, um, that also can affect the skin. And then the anti-inflammatory component is really important because again, the UV rays can cause inflammation in the skin. If bacteria enters your skin, it causes inflammation. If you're eating a lot of sugar and simple carbs, it's causing glycation in your skin, which is going to break down the collagen. So um, we take the approach of addressing not only the symptoms, but the cause. And I think a lot of products out there are just focusing on the symptoms. Mm. Well, obviously, the skin is a massive organ, it covers our whole body, and we need to treat it well. Um, and diets, obviously comes into play a lot there depending on what you eat is you know what's coming out through your skin uh, as far as uh, helping with conditions such as acne uh, does it do you have a solution for that we have um, I've had several teenagers try it with acne and then uh, myself personally I was having some adult acne and it has helped with that, believe it or not. It's, um, you know, with acne, you have inflammation. The skin's irritated and, and it's helped calm that down. Um, it's provided the, you know, with ac acne or skin with acne, it's often quite oily. So it's helped regulate that. Um, and so we have seen some good, some good signs. And as far as having an oil-based product and putting on an already oily uh, skin. Tell me again how that works. Yeah, so, so some people can get a little nervous with that. I'm like, why would I want to put oil on my skin if it's oily? Um, everybody that has tried it with oily skin has been amazed, and they're the ones that are noticing within three days. And, and it's always been women that have tried it, but they're like, oh my gosh, I don't need to wear makeup anymore. <laughs> my my forehead isn't dripping with oil by noon. You know, it's it's actually normal. And so um, it's been really fun to see to see the changes for these people because yeah. I, I have or I had dry skin. So I had never experienced that personally, but um, they were very pleased. 
So what is the secret then? What's the secret to having uh, fresh, healthy skin? And like I said before, there's thousands and thousands of products on the market. But if it came down to, you know, just one thing that you can do or to put on your skin, mm -hmm. you know, what would that be and how does it help so much? So... Um... The, the fatty acids, I would say, would be really important. It's just to say one thing is really hard because inflammation is a big issue too. So it, that I don't know if I can answer just just one, but but something to look at to avoid would be products that have um, they've got it's called polyethylene glycol. When it's, it's often written in capitals P E G, and then there's a number after it. And that is an emulsifier. You will see it in creams. And what it does is it takes the, the well, creams are a mixture of oil and water. Okay. So it, ta it keeps them together. Kind of, if you think about um, salad dressing, you know, vinegar and oil salad dressing, you have to shake it in order to keep it mixed. Mm -hmm. This does the same sort of thing. It keeps them from separating. So what happens when you use that product is the polyethylene glycol settles into the top layer of your skin. And then when your skin gets wet, it emulsifies that with the oils, the natural oils in your skin, and will pull them out. So it can cause some chronic dryness that um, is something you don't want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, to avoid products that have egg in them would be, um, would be a good recommendation. Well, Pro Health PH, it sounds like a great product. Uh, what are we looking at as far as Derma Health Science goes on the, the timeline for getting this product to market? So we are getting very close. We've got several tests that need to be done um, to officially put it on the market. I would say within the next, um, I would say within the next three months, so at March, April, May. Uh, June, July-ish should be a good time to expect it. Excellent. Now, can you give me um, a case study? I know you've given one or two already, but uh, somebody that you have worked with with uh, this skin treatment, you know, what kind of condition did they come to you in? Um, you know, you gave them your product and what was the outcome for them? Okay. Um, well, People with eczema have very dry skin. And while I understand this product is not designed to treat, diagnose, mm -hmm. <laughs> make cure, any of that, this lady wanted to try it. And so I, I gave her some to try and it actually cleared up her eczema. So um, I'm not going to attribute it to treating the eczema, but what it did was it, it helped with the dryness of her skin and um, helped with the irritation and in doing so, her eczema ended up clearing up. So I'm, I'm thinking that it helped the body do better what it, what it naturally does. Excellent. It's nice to see people that get results uh, right away. That's, you know, makes you feel good as an entrepreneur, bringing a product to market like that, that's going to make a difference in people's lives. So tell us a little bit more about uh, yourself, Joey, what inspired you to become an entrepreneur and basically, you know, bring a product to market and fix uh, something that need, needed sorted and give us a, a healthy skincare product. <laughs> well, I tell you, it, it was kind of funny. So I, I wasn't always so bold. And so um, I guess I've always kind of been a little creative, but never really had a drive to get going on in, in the workspace my, myself. But there was one day back, my son was about six months old and I was bathing him. He was in one of those infant bath seats and it literally tipped over and thank God I was right there and I was able to pull him out. But that started the whole process of, oh my gosh, I'm going to come up with something that won't tip and the baby won't slip inside. And so I dove in, found a patent attorney, got going. I ended up getting two patents through on that product and then had a couple other unrelated products that I was able to get patents um, on as well. And it just, it was like it triggered that entrepreneurial wiring <laughs> that I had. And I just, I loved it. I just really fell in love with it. And so um, was doing that part-time as a PT and then just 
decided that it would be a good idea to jump in full time and kind of take that leap of faith and and move forward. But I believe that an entrepreneur is, it is a mindset. It's not, I don't think it's something that everybody is equipped to do. Um, it's, it's more than meets the eye for sure. And if you don't have the right mindset, you're not going to be a success because it's really mind over matter <laughs> on a lot of things and being, um, having that vision and sticking to the vision. But it just, it just kept growing and growing. The strength of my mindset kept growing. And as I ventured out on my own and, <clears throat> and really, um, everything that I learned along the way, cause I have a, a, a real varied background help get me to this point. And, um, and then the whole, you know, I looked in the mirror thing and that just, that just took off. But my whole background has been, I I've gotten into things that I really didn't understand at all. So I was a person as a physical therapist during open enrollment that would say, just tell me what I need for insurance. <laughs> and then I turned around and I ended up selling health and life insurance. Mm-hmm. So same thing with the green energy. I didn't know about it, but it was something I thought I should know. And um, so then got into that. And the same thing with the skin. Um, I love doing wound care. Um, didn't really know what caused the breakdown of skin or the aging but I knew I wanted to help people improve their appearance because it was frustrating for myself and, and knew other people was frustrating for. So dove in and learn about it. Mm. Um, well, like any good entrepreneur, you have a passion for something and then you go out and you learn everything about it. And, uh, you know, you will generally know more than the 95% of the marketplace with a little bit of, studying and education but you know you put your time and your effort into really learning what goes into the, making a great skincare product and um you know you you get your reward and i'm glad that you are getting it to market now so is there anything that you need before now and then just to make sure things go smoothly and that it goes to market um, well, I am looking for, because I'm actually, I've got some formulations that I want to pursue medically and I um, am needing some people with eczema that I would like for um, them to sample the, these formulations and to do some testing with. So if there's anybody out there that is interested in that, that's local um, Metro Atlanta area that um, I would love to be able to get in touch with them. Well, hopefully they are listening and they will reach out to you. What is the best way for them to reach out to you? How do we get in contact with Joey Stein to find out more? You can either find me on LinkedIn and message me there, or uh, you can email me at Derma Health Science, D-E-R-M-A, and then health science at gmail.com. Excellent. Well, Julie at Derma Health Science, bringing the Pro Health PH, we think that's the name that we're going with, um, to market this summer. So look out for that. Uh, Julie, thank you very much for being my guest on Expert Profiles Atlanta today. Thank you so much, Neil. I appreciate it. And to our listening audience, if you like what you hear, hit that like button and share, and we'll see you next time on the show. Thank you for listening to Expert Profiles Atlanta with Neil Howe. To learn more about the resources in the show or to listen to past episodes, visit expertprofilesatlanta.com.